We're going to solve this quick question on geometric progression. So the question says we have the fourth term of a set of series, geometric series. The fourth term is 24, and the eighth term is 8 over 27. That means we have, we have probably T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, and so on. All right? Then they told us that the fourth term is 24. And the eighth term is 8 over 27. So we're asked to find A, which is T1, and R, which is the ratio between T, each of the terms. All right? So how are we going to go about that? First of all, we're going to use our formula. Our geometric progression formula. You know the general formula is Tm equal to Arm minus 1. That's the general formula. But if we're finding the function for T4, that means we're going to substitute 4 as m, right? So we'll say Ar 4 minus 1, which is equal to A. R raised to power 3. Then T8 is equal to A R 8 minus 1 raised to power 8 minus 1, which is A R raised to power 7. And we know that T4 is what? 24. And T8 is what? 8 over 27. So as you can see, we already have two equations that have popped up. Right? So we'll make A the subject of the formula or we will just divide both equations. You can just divide both equations. So we can say divide. There are many ways to solve this problem. There are so many ways to solve this problem. But let's just use this. We we'll say divide equation. 2 by equation 1. Alright, so we we'll say a raised a r raised to power 7 all over a r raised to power 3 is equal to 8 over 27 divided, right? Divided by 24. But we can't put divided, so we'll multiply, so we we'll invert it to what? 8 over 24. So this A will cancel out. This other A will cancel out. Then, applying the laws of indices, when the same base divide each other, means we can subtract the powers. So 7 minus 3 will give us 4. Alright? Leaving us with R raised to power 4 equal to now let's shift to this other side. So we have A to go here 1, A to go here 3 times, leaving us with what? 1 over what? 27 times 3. And we know that 27 is 3 raised to power 3 times 3. And you know, you, if you apply the law of indices, if you have the same base, this is 3 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 1. Right? So if you add, if you multiply the same base, means you have to add the powers, giving us 1 over 3 raised to the power 4. So if I shift this 3 raised to the power 4 up, I would have 3 raised to the power minus 4. Now we have a relationship, right? So let's shift to this other side. We'll have r raised to the power 4 would be equal to 3 raised to the power minus 4. 3 raised to the power minus 4, which is equal to r raised to the power 4 equal to 3 raised to the power minus 1 bracket 4. I'm trying to make the powers to be exactly the same. And I employ the multiplication law 
of indices, right? Which made minus 1 times 4 the same thing as minus 4. All right? So therefore, we have a value for R. Our R is equal to 3 raised to the power minus 1 or 1 over 3. All right? 1 over 3. So, so what the we next stage right? is to find the value of A. So we're going to take it from any of our equations. So we're choosing from equation 1. A R raised to the power 3 equal to 24. So we'll substitute the value of R, which is 1 over 3, into equation 1. So we will have, if we make A subject of the formula, we will have A equal to 24 all over R raised to the power 3. So we'll substitute the value of R in this place, which is 24 all over 1 over 3 raised to the power 3. So now we'll have... So we're going to um, flip over the 1 over 3. So it will be 24 times 3 raised to power 3. And from there, from there, we'll have our final answer. So if you multiply 24 times 3 raised to the power 3, we'll have our value for A. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. Now you can support this channel by doing some super chats or super stickers during our premiere. You can also follow us on all available channels. Thank you. Bye.